guys and welcome back to my channel. So to start, I just want to say that I am wearing clothing. I am wearing a cheetah print tube top, but you can't see it because I like to film a little bit closer. And I just wanted to do a updated product favorites video. This isn't really a monthly favorites video. I don't think I've done a monthly favorites video since maybe October, September. It's been a while and I have some makeup products that I've really been obsessed with lately. I've been loving these. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get into my current beauty favorites. Okay, so I'm going to go in order of application to the face. That just makes the most sense to me. So the first product that I have to discuss is the Drunk Elephant C Firma Day Serum, and it looks like this. This is just good to help firm your skin and brighten your skin. Vitamin C is really good for spots, and I have really bad skin right now. You can't really tell, but it is really bad right now. It's been acting up, so I've been using this to help clear my spots once the breakouts do go away, and I do notice that this helps to firm my skin a little bit. Not that that's necessarily something that I'm really looking for, but I do love that it helps with my breakout spots and just evens the skin tone in general. Helps everything look a little more even and a little more healthy and a little bit brightened as well. So I've really, really been liking this. And then the moisturizer that I've been using with this is the Josie Moran Whipped Argan Oil Face Butter Ultra Hydrating. I discovered this because I got a sample from Sephora and ever since then I've been obsessed with it. I haven't been using my ultra repair cream much. I've just been using this and it's amazing. It really is nice and buttery. Sometimes it's a little too thick to wear under makeup. So keep that in mind, but on its own mixed with this, I put this on first and then this on top, or sometimes I do it in reverse, but typically I like having the vitamin C serum directly touching my skin. It's not too expensive. It's definitely more than the Ultra Repair Cream, but it smells amazing. It's very good for sensitive skin. I have really sensitive skin, and it really, really helps with hydration in this winter time period. Definitely recommend both of these in terms of skincare. Then another semi-skincare related item is this Sugar Lip Scrub. This is the Milani Keep It Sweet Lip Scrub. Lip scrubs aren't something that you necessarily need to purchase from a store. You can make your own with honey and sugar or whatever. If I and to purchase one, I'd rather purchase a drugstore one. There's a bunch of different ones from Sephora brands. I know Jeffree Star is supposed to have really good ones. Lush sells lip scrubs. I'd rather just get one from the drugstore. I don't find that a high-end lip scrub makes a difference in comparison to a lower-end lip scrub, so I opt for the lower end. It smells like sugar, honestly. It smells so good. That's why it's called Keep It Sweet, and I believe they have another scent as well, but it just does a really nice job of moisturizing my lips, getting rid of that dead skin. I actually should have done this first because I do this when I'm washing my face. I'll just put it on afterwards and then wipe it all away. And then I go in with my moisturizer, put it on top of my lips, and then a lip butter or whatever if I want to. I really like this. Really good for winter. Definitely a winter staple. So I guess I can call this skincare as well. So this and those other two products that I just mentioned will save your life in the winter. Then in terms of makeup, I have two different foundations to mention. I've really been getting into foundation this year. I think 2018 was the year of foundation for me. I discovered the Taylor's channel and she's all about foundation. She does foundation Fridays and then 15 days of foundation. And I just really fell in love with some different foundations this year. I'm wearing both of these today layered and I really like the effect that that they give. So the first one is this Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation and mine is in the shade Cream. I feel like cream isn't the lightest shade. I think they have ones that are lighter, very similar to my skin, and it just gives a really nice full coverage. It's dewy. Wouldn't necessarily expect from a stick foundation, but it is very dewy and healthy. It leaves like a satin to dewy finish on the skin, but it's very full coverage and it's really easy to blend out with a sponge or with a brush. It really doesn't matter it blends into the skin super super nicely. I love wearing that Josie Moran whipped face butter underneath and then putting this on top. I find that those two work really well together. Sometimes that moisturizer is a little too thick for my other foundations, but it works really really well with this one. So I'm wearing the face butter and then this on top today and I really like 
how it looks. And then the next foundation that I have to mention, sorry, these are both very high end, is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation, and mine is in 0N, so it's their probably lightest neutral shade is typically what I like to get, or the second lightest neutral, whichever I have very neutral undertones, so I tend to go based off that. This foundation is just amazing. It's less full coverage than the Hourglass one. I need a little bit more to get a full coverage look. Not a matte finish, not a dewy finish. This one is definitely a satin to matte finish, I would say. It's closer to matte than to dewy. And yeah, I've just been reaching for those two on and off all month long, so I figured I would mention them. The next product that I have to mention is my favorite concealer at the moment, and this is the Born This Way by Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This is a full coverage concealer. I would say that it's maybe a tad less full coverage than the Tarte Shape Tape, which is my old favorite. This has taken its spot. This concealer is amazing. I haven't heard many people mentioning this, but this is a very smoothing concealer. So if my foundation is patching in any way, if it's adhering to a spot weirdly, or there's little redness peeking through, whatever it may be, I put this on top and it smooths out that entire area. I have mine in the shade Snow, which isn't the lightest shade, and this one pulls very yellow, so I need to pick up a lighter one because this does tend to yellow out my foundation because I do like to apply a lot. I use this to highlight, I use this to spot conceal, I use this for everything, and it's just so full coverage. It creases under my eyes, but every single concealer does. All around, this is the best concealer. I've had it for months now and it hasn't run out. You get a really good amount of product and you get a really big doe foot just like the Shape Tape. Definitely check this out. It's the best. Then I have a brush to mention, which I normally don't discuss on my channel, especially in favorites videos. I always talk about my makeup and the products I use. So my favorite brush as of late is the Sephora Pro Airbrush 55. Sephora brushes are very expensive, but very worth it in my opinion. Face brushes, especially eye brushes, I feel like you can get away with using Morphe or less expensive brand, but for face brushes, I think Sephora brushes are incomparable. I think they're the best that you can get on the market. This is so soft, so fluffy. It creates the perfect airbrushed face, which is why it's called the Pro Airbrush. I just love it. I use this for my face powder. I use it to bake under here. I use it for my bronzer, and I like using it for all of those things in the same makeup application because it gives a really seamless look. So I will use this for my face powder to start, then I will go in with the same brush with a tiny bit of my face powder likely left on it for my bronzer. It makes it look very smooth and blended, and then I use this to go in with my baking powder as well and to brush it away. Oftentimes I will go in with a little bit more bronzer up on the forehead, etc. But this just gives the smoothest finish. It is so beautiful. I know this brush is expensive because I had it on my wish List for a while and I kept putting it off but I honestly would be down to get another one of these in my collection or like a blush brush from their collection. I just cannot get enough of Sephora Pro brushes so if you've never tried them definitely check them out. Next I have a highlighter. This is the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt highlighter and this is in the duo Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. I believe this is her lightest duo that she's come out with. Super good for my pale skinned ladies um, like me. Super super fair. These just look so beautiful on the skin. I mix them together. I have never worn them separate. This one's a little more finely milled and this one has a little more glitter to it. Um, I'm wearing it today. I tried to wear everything that I'm talking about today. I've been putting this as a topper, highlight topper on top of any other highlights just because it's so pretty. It gives like the perfect undertone of highlight that I like. It's not too golden. It's not too silver. It's not too pink. It's just like the perfect in between and it's really, really flattering on my skin tone. I like the formula. It withstands really well on top of makeup, blends really nicely into the skin. It doesn't sit on top like a stripe. I just cannot get enough of this. So if you've never tried Fenty highlighters, I'm sure the other colors are great. If you have a deeper skin tone, this might be too much for you, too blinding, too light, but um, definitely check out Fenty Beauty highlighters. They are definitely worth the hype. And then lastly, I have some lashes to my to you guys. I've been getting way more into eyelashes lately. I've tried the Lily lashes. I've been trying a bunch of Ardell lashes. I really like the Kiss lashes. I like Boudoir. I like Little Black Dress. There's a bunch of different ones that I love, but my favorite go-to super easy lash to apply, this is also easy to reuse, is the Ardell Faux Mink Demi Wispies. So this is the package here, and I'm actually wearing them today. I put a little more mascara on top so that they're a little more intense 
intense because I am going out tonight and this is my third use of these lashes which is normally as much as I like to wear them for three to four five uses typically. They're not too expensive, they're super easy to find, and they're just very beautiful. I love that the drugstore is turning towards mink lashes because they're just so much more natural and fluffy and pretty. I got the Lily lashes and I found that the band was a little thick and it like caked up with the glue a little bit so I wasn't able to get more than two uses out of my Lily lashes and I find the band of these lashes very easy to clean. You can definitely get like three to five uses out of them and they're only like 10-ish dollars. I think. So if you've never checked out the Ardell lashes, definitely check out the Faux Mink line. There's some other ones. There's regular Wispies and then maybe another one, but I love the Demi Wispies. These are my absolute favorite. And that is all of the products that I had to talk about. My favorite products as of late. Give it a thumbs up if you liked this. Subscribe if you aren't already. Let me know what other videos you guys would like to see. I'm gonna have a bunch of time off around Christmas, so I really want to bang out some makeup content, some hauls, some full face one brands so give me your requests down below and I will make them happen and yeah that's all that I have for you guys today as always I hope that you had an absolutely awesome day and thank you so much for watching bye